Welcome to our Fab Lab Minute. I'm Dan Flores, an instructor here at Cook Inlet Tribal Council's Fabrication Laboratory. In this video, we're focusing on one of Dremel's 3D printers, the 3D45. Here we'll be focusing specifically on loading and changing the 3D filament. But before we get started, here's a few quick tips and best practices surrounding Dremel's filament. Don't adjust the extruder settings to exceed the maximum rated temperature of the filament type being used. Heating the filament above its recommended range could cause emissions that may result in personal injury. Dremel filament is not suitable for food or drink preparation or food utensils or vessels. Do not use Dremel's 3D45 to create objects intended for chemical storage. Dremel filament is not suitable for electrical applications. Do not change the filament spools unless the building process has completed, stopped, or is paused. Do not pull the filament out. Doing so may damage the extruder. And lastly, use only Dremel approved filament. Damage to the product resulting from use of the filament other than Dremel approved filament is not covered under warranty. Now let's start the process of loading or changing out our Dremel filament. Start by tapping the filament button on the 3D45's touch screen. The extruder will move to the front right corner of the print area and the extruder tip will begin to heat up. After the extruder stops moving, open the 3D45's lid for better access to the extruder. If existing filament is loaded, cut the existing filament with a pair of scissors near the extruder's intake. Then tap the next arrow button on the touch screen. Next, remove the spool door by rotating it counterclockwise. Then remove the existing spool if one is present. Open and locate the tip of the new roll of the filament. If it is brand new roll and is kinked at the start of the roll, cut that kink off with a pair of scissors and begin threading the tip through the guide tube. Place a new spool on the spool holder and replace the spool door by aligning the locking tabs and rotating it clockwise to lock it back in place. When you place a roll of Dremel filament into the spool holder, the printer will automatically recognize the filament type and will optimize the printer settings for the filament that you've just loaded. Note that this will bypass any print settings loaded into your sliced file. If changing existing filament, the 3D45 will automatically purge the existing filament. When the feed filament screen appears, tap the arrow on the touch screen and begin threading the filament coming from the guide tube and placing it into the extruder intake until the filament feeds through. The filament will be drawn into the extruder and will begin to exit from the heated extruder tip. When the new filament begins to appear from the extruder tip, tap Done on the touch screen to complete the filament load process, returns you to the main menu, and calibrate the extruder. Carefully remove excess filament without touching the heated extruder tip. If necessary, carefully remove debris from the extruder tip with needle nose pliers. Now that you have your new filament loaded, you're ready to move on. Check out our other quick tip videos for more information, and don't forget to follow our YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.